Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you are doing great wherever you are today. I am going to be trying out some chocolates as well as a very interesting wine with a very unique color given to me by Betty Boop. Thank you so much Betty Boop for sending these for my birthday. My birthday was back in January. I'm finally getting to these items. So thank you for being patient, Betty Boop. I'm gonna be trying them out today. Before we get started, I wanna ask you to please smash that like button. It really does help my channel grow. And number two, consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoy videos like this one. On this channel, I not only eat a lot of food, but I also travel a lot and I do periodical live streams. Yeah, I used to do more live streams. I, I don't do them as often these days, but I do. I've been traveling a lot. Last year especially, I went all over the place. Nagasaki, I went to Hokkaido, I went to Hiroshima, Osaka of course, Kyoto. And even this year, you know, this year I told myself I was gonna take it a little bit easier, but I did travel. And it's only the beginning of April and I'm already feeling like I've been to so many places. We have plans to travel a lot more this year, even more than last year, so. Um, I hope that's good news for you guys. I'm gonna start off with a unique wine that I was telling you about. It's called Purple Rain. Love that name, Purple Rain. And this is a classic white blend wine product of Australia. So because it says wine product, I'm thinking it's not real wine. What is it? Wine product. It's a product that tastes like wine. So Purple Rain is a special blend of white grape varietals selected from some of Australia's best growing regions. And what makes this wine purple is that the wine product is infused with natural botanicals. This is what it looks like. Isn't it cool? I just love, love, love the design. Okay, let's open it up. Mm. Smells like wine. Smells like white wine. Pour myself a glass. It's been, what, it's been three months ago, but yeah, happy late birthday to myself. Cheers, everybody. Come fight. Look at that. Look at the color. I can't believe it. Come fight. Itadakimasu. Hmm. 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 It's actually quite nice. Hmm. Because it said it was a wine product, I was. To be honest with you, I was a little bit afraid that I wasn't going to like it. I thought it was going to be too sweet for me or it was going to taste like something else altogether. However, it does taste like white wine. It's refreshing, it is light, it's actually pretty dry. And I like it, I actually like it. And I just love the color. The color is so unique. I, I think this would be great for parties. I think everyone is going to be surprised with this wine, the color especially. Taste-wise though, it doesn't taste much different from your typical white wine. Yeah, I'm so curious. I, I wish I knew what kind of botanicals they use for this. Very curious. Hmm, purple wine. Now, Betty Boop also sent me a whole bunch of non-edibles. I do have some chocolates that I'm gonna have later, but I'm just gonna share with you very quickly what she got me. And this one is a rejuvenating bath soak from Balm Balm Company. And check it out, I just love, I love this. Look how pretty it looks. At first I thought this is some kind of cookie mix or something. <laughs> But no, this is for your bath. And I'm gonna save this for when I go on another staycation. Uh, yeah, I am thinking about staying at this hotel with Satoshi. And it's a nice hotel, so when that time comes, I'll be taking this with me. This has magnesium flakes, Himalayan salt, rose petals, lavender flower, dried orange, lemon, and ylang ylang essential oils. I love Ylang Ylang, I really, really do. Many of you guys know I have anxiety. It's not too bad these days, but 
when it used to be very bad. Instead of just taking meds for my condition, I wanted to help myself out, uh, you know, naturally. And I heard that ylang ylang is good to calm your nerves. And ever since, ylang ylang is one of my favorite fragrances, you know, uh, essential oils. Yeah, okay, so that is gonna be used later on. And thank you for sending me a bar of soap. I am obsessed with soaps, especially bar soaps. Don't ask me why, I don't know why, but I really love them. Whenever I go to a soap shop, I go kind of crazy, especially if it's an organic soap shop. Uh, so this is the Kakadu Plum Australian Red Clay Replenishing Body Bar, triple milled with organic shea butter. Shea butter, great because I do have dry skin especially since I'm no longer that young. I've actually never heard of kakadu plum. I'm assuming it's plum that you eat. It's a maybe like a local plum that grows in Australia. Supposedly, it's rich in antioxidants and vitamin C, which can help replenish your skin's natural glow. I love the sound of that. And Australian red clay will help to purify your skin. I like the sound of that too. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, look at that. That's what it looks like on one side. Freshwater Farm, Australia. Dear valued customer, your support of our family owned Australian manufacturing business means the world to us. Enjoy this Australian made beauty, the Freshwater Farm team. Hmm. I love supporting family businesses. It smells amazing. Can't wait to try it. Okay, this one's really interesting to me too. So this is by Swiss Skincare, uh, matcha tea anti-pollution clay mask with shiitake mushrooms and Australian green clay. Recently, I started a new skin regimen and I'll be sharing that with you later on on the Tabi Eats channel. But I've been using this new uh, line of skincare products for about a month now and I really, really like it a lot. This is not a sponsor video for that. So right now it's really simple. I just use a, a facial cleanser, eye cream, day cream and night cream, just four products. So it would be kind of fun to add in a clay mask like once a week. What do you guys think? I'm gonna open and see what it smells like and what it looks like. So that's what it looks like on the inside. Look at that. Oh, I like that color. It's a beautiful green color and it smells Mmm, what is that? It smells like almonds to me. It smells like almond. I don't smell shiitake or matcha. I'm very um, sensitive to smells. I don't like certain kind of smells. I, I don't like smells. I don't like aromas that smell like uh, cologne or aftershave lotion. I don't really like that. I like natural, natural fragrances like green tea, ylang ylang for example. Uh, lavender, yeah. But this one smells really nice. And then finally, before we get to the chocolate, this is a premium natural toothpaste, cinnamon mint. Cinnamon mint. This is something that I'm definitely not gonna be sharing with Satoshi. He'll be pissed at me. But this includes earth minerals and natural oils. I've actually never used a natural toothpaste ever in my life, so kind of excited to try. I love that tiger design at the bottom. Oh, it smells like cinnamon. Oh yeah, it smells 100% like cinnamon. I gotta keep this away from Satoshi for sure. Finally, we're gonna try out the chocolates from Poppy's Chocolates. These are handcrafted in Australia. And there are 12 different varieties of chocolate in here. I'm not gonna try all of them because I do have to eat dinner today. Satoshi's making me something nice to eat. So I'm not gonna spoil my appetite by eating too many of these. Which one should I try? I think I'm gonna try the heart shaped one. I believe this one is the red. What is this? No, this. Uh, hmm. This is the red heart. Yeah, there, there's a little um, guide that tells you what you're eating. Red heart. Looks like this, and I believe this is strawberry flavor. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Wow. That's smooth. 
really smooth chocolate. It's white chocolate on the outside and the inside is filmed with a nice strawberry cream. It looks like this on the inside. You see the strawberry cream has some really natural tasting strawberry flavor. I wonder if it'll go with my, my wine. Not bad. Mm. Not bad. It doesn't really um, enhance the flavor of the chocolate, nor does it enhance the wine. So it's okay. The pairing isn't perfect. I'm gonna try just a couple of more. Which one should I try, guys? Which one should I try? Should I try that green one? Or should I try that flower shaped one? What do you guys think? I'll try the green one. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, and it says, the guy says, this is kiwi fruit. Oh my God, I love this design. Look how pretty that is. I think that's a, like a leafy design. Hmm? Does it taste like kiwi? Hmm. I need another bite. <laughs> hmm. I guess so. But I wouldn't know that this was kiwi unless someone told me. So there's this creamy white filling on the inside. I guess that is the kiwi cream. But it has like a tiny little tinge of kiwi flavor. I feel like I taste lime. Oh, look at my fingers. My fingers are green now. All right, I want to try one more, maybe a couple more. Let's try this orange shell. Should I? So this is the orange, look how pretty that is. It's the orange shell one. I think this is orange cream. Hmm. 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 This one's nice. It reminds me of cream seco. If you live in the US and you're like my age, I think you know what I'm talking about. Do they still have cream sickles there in America? Oh, cream sickles used to be one of my favorite frozen treats. I used to love them so much. When I go to America next time, I think one of the first things I'm gonna eat is a cream sickle. Okay, this one, I didn't just go over visuals, I actually read the guide. This is apple pie. Look at that, I, I like the, the crunchy looking uh, top. Hmm? Mm hmm? There we go. That's definitely apple pie. It's funny because the, the flavors doesn't come at you right away. It does take a while to register. And that's what it looks like on the inside. It's filled with some apple cream and like two layers of cream. And the top is a little bit crunchy. I guess that's to mimic the apple pie crust. I think this is my favorite one. The apple pie. I wonder if the apple pie will go with the wine. Not really. <laughs> None of the chocolates really go with the wine. Mm. That's delicious. Mm. So like I said, we have a grand plan to travel a lot this year, including abroad, including abroad because um, we no longer have to quarantine when we come back, uh, depending on which country we decide to go to. And one of those places is Hawaii. So Hawaii is definitely uh, in the plans for the near future, perhaps summertime, maybe early summer. So Hawaii is definitely in the books. I, I would love to go to Europe somewhere. That would be awesome. It would also be nice to revisit Singapore again. I, I kind of want to see the people I met before the pandemic and see them again to say hello, to be able to give them a hug. I think that would be nice. And then I also want to travel domestic. I want to go to some places I haven't been to yet here in Japan and there are many of them so if you could give me some suggestions on where I should go next time, I would appreciate it if you let me know 
by writing them down in the comments down below. That would be great. Also, it would be helpful if you tell me why you want me to visit those places. Like, is are they famous for a certain dish? Uh, do they have something amazing to see? Uh, yeah, if you jot down some information, that would help out a lot. All right, I'm feeling good now. Huh. I'm feeling good now. The purple rain is starting to make me feel happy and relaxed. So I think it is time to say goodbye right now and I'm starting to play around with this box. I don't know why. Keep that box away from me. Have a great day everybody. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.